Today, we find out, is coffee really a lifesaver? Good morning to wherever you are, this is your Java Man, and I know recently I did a video on how much coffee can actually kill you. Well, I got thinking, I think it was yesterday morning, I want to do a video on how beneficial coffee can be. Is it good for you? Now, unbeknownst to me prior to this, coffee actually has some form of nutritional value other than vitamin C, which I like to call vitamin caffeine, which is necessary in every diet, in my personal opinion. Um, coffee actually has some form of nutritional value in terms of um, vitamins such as uh, potassium, magnesium, uh, phosphorus, these types of nutrients which are absolutely key and necessary for your uh, muscle use, whether it's skeletal muscle or for cardiac muscle, if you do not have enough of these in you, it can cause you to go into a heart arrhythmia or a, a offbeat heart and be potentially lethal. Um, now, the amount of these in coffee is not a lot. It's maybe 1-2%, to 2 but if you think about it, if you drink 3 or 4 cups of coffee a day like a lot of people do, that stacks up on itself. Now, amazingly, in the Western diet here in America, not the Southern diet, where we drink sweet tea and the amount of sugar we drink instantly gives you diabetes, here in the Western diet, we get more antioxidants from coffee than we actually do from fruits and vegetables. Now, next up, as we all know, coffee is a stimulant. You probably have figured this out within your fourth or fifth cup of coffee, and you're shaking like a... Uh, earthquake in California. Now with it being a stimulant, it kind of makes sense and you've all noticed it. This caffeine uh, wakes you up, makes you more alert, makes you, well, happier because you're not sleepy and grumpy and it helps improve your memory. Also, caffeine can help speed up your metabolism as high as 11% of your normal metabolism. So if you're trying to lose weight or go to the gym, Caffeine might actually be good for you to kind of get you up off your couch and get to the actual gym to lose even more weight and get in even better shape. However, like any sort of, I guess, drug or whatever have you, you can build a tolerance to it. So if you drink four cups of coffee a day for the past 40 years, you're not going to get the same effect as you did when you initially started drinking coffee, so you've got to be aware of that. Now going off the stimulant effect, this caffeine can actually reduce your risk for Alzheimer's, Parkinson's, and those kind of things from 60 to 65 percent. Now based on 15 different studies, coffee can actually decrease your risk for type 2 diabetes. Now unless if of course you're going to Starbucks and you're getting your mocha frappa latte, whatever you want to call it, that is loaded in sugar and loaded in creamer which has all sorts of fat, then just completely ignore what I just said and that's actually probably going to increase your risk for type 2 diabetes because let's just be real here, there's probably enough calories in one of those drinks for like a day's meal. However, if you typically drink about six to seven cups of coffee based on one study, you can decrease your risk for diabetes by as much as 35% in comparison to someone who drinks maybe one or two cups of coffee a day, which, let's be real here, if I drank six to seven cups of coffee a day, I think my head would probably explode. So this may not be for everybody. However, don't fret if you drink an extra cup of coffee a day, this may decrease your risk for type 2 diabetes by 7% with each cup of coffee. So you may not have to actually drink all 6 or 7 cups of coffee, even just one extra cup could mean a whole lot for you. Now in 2009, they did a study where if you drank 2 or more cups of coffee, you could potentially lower your risk for a stroke by 20%. Now you've also got to keep in mind that caffeine at least acutely or immediately will raise your blood pressure which is one of the effects that a stroke can have on you so you want to keep that in mind if you are wanting these effects for you to decrease your risk for a stroke sadly you may want to switch to decaf now for all you kids who partied in college and drank like a fish this next little bit may be for you coffee might actually be good for your liver 
it's seen to reduce your risk for uh, liver cirrhosis or just scarring or long-term damage to your liver by as much as 84 percent so i hope you enjoyed this video i hope you thought it was at least educational or awesome in any form of fashion um if you have an idea for me to do a video whether it's a type of coffee around the world whether you want me to go buy this random bag of coffee and review it if you want me to i don't know go on tatooine and get some dirt from saboba's pod racer i don't know and try it as a coffee creamer i'm down for all of that especially the last one i think that sounds great but if you have any ideas for a video, please leave one in the comments below. Um, if you have any tips or ideas for me to make these videos even better for you to enjoy even more, please let me know. And hey, let's go brew up some love for somebody.